All these rising interest rates will not crash the housing market. I'm going to explain why in this video and exactly what you need to know if you're in real estate as a realtor, a mortgage lender, or a real estate investor. What's up guys, welcome back to the Massive Agent YouTube channel. I am Dustin Brome, host of the Massive Agent Podcast. Today we're talking some pretty nerdy shit. Okay, we're gonna talk some interest rate stuff, but this is the question, right? Is housing going to crash? Are we gonna see homes lose you know, 20, 30, 40% of their value like they did back in 08 and 09? I'm here to tell you, spoiler alert, no. Even though interest rates have gone through the roof and obviously dramatically slowed the growth of the housing market and caused the demand to cool off quite a bit, it's not going to crash, okay? So to understand what's happening now, we need to understand what's happened over the last two years. So let's rewind, shall we? Before the Fed started raising the interest rates, housing was out of control, okay? There were a good two years caused by the post-COVID boom where people are like, oh, I don't need to live in the city anymore. I can work remotely. People are leaving. Interest rates were super low. Money was cheap. And so there was this massive demand and not nearly enough homes on the market. So you saw homes that were being listed for 500,000. Someone would come in and pay cash for 650,000, for example. I mean, there are stories in many markets of homes going 100, 200, $300,000 over the asking price just because the demand was so Hi. So what happened when you you know you put your house on the market and you'd get 30, 40, 50 offers, that's not a really healthy market. It's great for the sellers, but it's also horrible for those sellers if they then had to go and buy their next property because then they had to deal with that BS. It was a very unhealthy seller's market. What we've seen now is a more healthy, more balanced market that there's a lot of good for buyers, there's a lot of good still for sellers, but yes, it's costing the buyers a lot more money to finance the purchase of homes. But even with the rising interest rates, the market is not going to crash. Here's why. All of that demand that has been pent up from 2020, 2021, over the last year, it hasn't gone away. It's not like when the Fed decided to start raising interest rates and mortgage rates spiked, it's not like people are just like, ah, that's it, I guess I won't own a home. That's not how it works. They're like, okay, this is just not the best time to buy. So what the, all of that demand, all of these buyers that want to buy, they're just taking a break. They're looking for some certainty. They're looking for some clarity. They're looking for that light at the end of the tunnel. Buyers are wondering, when will interest rates come back down again, or at a minimum, when will they stabilize a little bit? Once that happens, once we see rates stabilize, and then even come back down, we're gonna see buyers jumping back into the market in droves. And there's even more demand piling up every day, all right? There's pent up demand. So that demand is a backstop for the market crashing. If homes get too low, people are gonna be like, okay, um, this house just dropped the price 50K, maybe I'm paying an extra 2% in interest for the mortgage, but I'm gonna buy this house because, oh my God, look at the price now. That demand is a backstop for housing, it's not going to crash. So right now, we're already seeing, okay, Thanksgiving was yesterday, we're just starting to see headlines from Inman, just came out yesterday, that mortgage demand, the mortgage demand has gone up three weeks in a row. This is when rates are not going up, but they're not really going down, they're just kind of showing signs of stabilizing, showing signs that eventually they will start to come down, and people are like, all right, I'm tired of waiting, I'm jumping in. Ultimately, here's what you need to know, people still need to move, they still need a house, they still want a house, that demand is still there. It did not disappear just because rates went through the roof. Those people that want to buy are just taking a breather until they can see some light at the end of the tunnel. As soon as that happens, we're going to see those buyers rush back into the market. This is why if you're a real estate agent or a lender, you need to be teaching your clients this because I understand the allure of wanting to wait until rates come down. But what happens when rates come down? Let's say that rates drop a full percentage point over the next week. A ton more buyers will jump into the market that you will have to compete with as a buyer. You need to be teaching your clients that if you're in real estate, because they think that it's in a vacuum, okay, the mortgage will cost less, we'll be able to get a home because there's more on the market. But guess what? All those buyers are gonna jump in because they're doing the same thing you are as a buyer. There's pros and cons to this. Understand how it all works. Understand that there's this pent up demand, waiting to jump in once there's clarity. Don't wait too long. If you're a buyer, if you're an investor, don't wait too long. You see a little drop in mortgage rates and we're seeing a bunch more buyers come into the market. We're going to continue to see that. Um, I can't foresee any reason why all of a sudden that demand would just dry up. And if it does dry up, then yeah, maybe the market could crash, but I don't know what could even potentially cause all these millions of people to say, eh, screw it. I'll just rent for the rest of my life or the next 10 years. 
I don't even want to buy anymore. The opposite is happening. They just are waiting for clarity on when the mortgages will become more affordable and when the market is less insane. And if you were a real estate pro, your job is to advise, educate, and guide and be an adult in the room and teach people about all of this. Give some clarity to it. Teach them if they're buying, here's what to look for. Here's what this means. Here's what this means. If you're selling, here's this and here's how it affects you. Please don't just read headlines to your clients. Headlines can be extremely misleading. Make sure that you are being the voice of reason and the lighthouse in the storm for the real estate market. If you enjoyed this video, please just let me know what you learned in the comments and share it with somebody that you think would find it valuable as well. And if you enjoy these videos, we drop a new one every single week at a minimum. Please subscribe to the Massive Agent YouTube channel. Appreciate you so much.